Look at all of this money we made last weekend at my birthday. There's enough here to buy our own private island and we can raise wild unicorns on it, and maybe even enough space to farm Cheez-Its. My sister Sasha the werewolf of Michigan says she wants to reinvest it whatever that means. She seems to think that buying stock in toothpaste and toasters will somehow help in her quest for world domination. And my brother Leo just wants to buy a wheelbarrow full of pine cones and sticks to chew. I know what you're thinking. But Sadie there must be at least $14,798,000 there, you could do so much more with it, like maybe buying an ant farm or maybe a glove to keep my stupid dad from rooting around in his nose for treasures, or maybe a windmill, just because they're cool, nothing gives such an elite status as a windmill, well maybe an original Buck Rogers lunchbox but let's be serious, I would need way more money for that, huh Rude? I haven't even told you how we earned it yet, as you all know my big little sister Sasha usually has 437 side hustles going on at any given time, one of which is what she calls the bully stick swag, she buys hundreds of pounds of bully sticks through the worldwide internets, and we smuggle I mean take them up north with us when we go to our cabin in northern Michigan, you should see it, dogs come from all around the world for our bully stick swag party, this time there was even one from Australia but we really had a hard time understanding each other. She may have been an Australian shepherd but hey we are both shepherds so we made it work. We actually stole the neighbor's golf cart and hijacked our parents boat. But is it really stealing when the keys are still in it? It's like that one thing Ziva my cat the shrink used to say. Persuasive? No perpetual? No. Perspective that's it. You should have seen it. As sure as a fish has feathers there were so many boats on the lake at our party and not one human. Of course our little big brother Leonidas didn't say much he was just there for intimidation. But there was this one little poodle that kept talking to him but I had to send the little bee on her way. She was totally a gold digger and had him eating out of her paw. Obviously she was a little old pooch trying to get herself a sweet young hunk and I had to tell her to kick rocks or I might have to introduce her to the werewolf of Michigan. Which was totally a bluff since Sasha would have just tried to sell him like last time. Not only did Sasha earn triple what she originally paid for the bully sticks but she even charged a cover fee to even attend the party. And if you are thinking, wait a second, I thought my boat was lower on fuel than it should be that weekend. I'm as certain as a cucumber's uncle that it wasn't your dog or dogs. And I can neither confirm nor deny that the pups in question or your boat were in the vicinity of this extravaganza, Sadie, Sasha and Leo out.